I think we can all agree that this new clan battle that was just introduced in the RNG update is absolutely trash. Now I'm actually very disappointed with the devs in this one. I thought we were actually taking clan battles in the direction they were supposed to be going. Like we were getting clan battles that were non pay to win, you didn't have to be on the game all day every day, and it was very very manageable. But now it looks like that ship has sailed as we have gotten a clan battle today in this update that is the exact opposite of that. As you can see, if I pull up the current clan battle, it is roll the best pets in the RNG event. And from first glance, it looks harmless. It just looks like, oh, you just have to roll the best pets. But so there are some things that are very wrong with this. And let me hop over to Twitter to show you. Hoogie basically said it best, and he basically said how to make the worst clan war ever. Number one, AFK 24-7. Number two, pay to win. Number three, RNG. Then he also said taking all three worst parts of the clan wars and combining them into one. Also, didn't the devs literally say they wanted to do non-24-7 wars? So basically, what he's saying is that this new clan battle has all of these three aspects in it, and let me go over them. Number one is the AFK 24-7 aspect, which basically means that you just gotta be in-game all day every day. Now, with this clan battle, that is absolutely true, because in order to get the best auras and the best pets and whatever, then what you need to do is you just need to be constantly rolling to see if you can get better ones. Your points in the clan only go up for what your best aura is, or your best pet is. So for me, that's 7 million. So if I were to actually get more points in the clan, I would need to roll better than a 1 in 7 million. So in order to do that, that'll take a lot more time once you get into the bigger numbers, like where I am right now. And then, yeah, you just basically have to sit in the game 24-7 to try to get a better aura. So already, that is one thing that is not good about this battle. Number two is pay to win. This is probably the biggest one yet. And let me show you. So basically, as you all know, and I said this in my last video, what you can do is you can get these certain dice. And what these dice will do is they can actually increase your chances of getting better auras and pets. So basically what you do is you bring them over here and then you can get all the way up to a mega lucky dice two, which for one roll gives you 10 million percent more luck. Now this looks all fine and good on the outside, but if you go into the exclusive shop and look at the new forever pack, as you can see, the best dice is actually in there and you can literally just pay your way through this pack and get a bunch of these dice leading to a ton of huge pets and titanics and then also a broken pay to win clan battle which is why all of the clans that have a ton of gold medals and a ton of money are up at the top as you can see goop is back up to number one boss is right behind them and then free is right behind them all of those clans are insanely rich clans especially the boss clans so all of them could literally just pay their way through and then literally win the thing with just robux that's the biggest thing, in my opinion, that is going to be really bad for this clan battle because, yeah, you, you literally just pay your way to victory. That's as simple as that. But anyways, going on to the third one, which is RNG. And basically, this is just leaving things up to chance. Now, I know it is a RNG event, but I mean, dude, if you're leaving things up to chance, it's really just whoever gets the most lucky, and you, it really should be about skill. These clan battles should be about skill, not luck. This is probably the least impactful one out of the three, though. I mean, the pay-to-win one's just another level of bad, but I mean, still, all three of these make this probably one of the worst clan battles yet. Now, I mean, I'm still gonna try to compete for my clan, but it's like, dude, I, this is like just a bad battle like seriously I don't know what the devs were thinking when they added in this battle especially considering they said they wanted to do more of like the other battles like the millionaire race and stuff like that yeah I don't really know but hopefully they learn from this and they don't do any more battles like these because this is just insane but well, anyways guys that is gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next video peace